Hello and welcome guys. Uh, welcome to the next part of the Angular material tutorial in which we add Angular material to our existing Angular 6 project. So in this part we are going to add the table schematics to our existing Angular 6 project. So let's go to, doc to the documentation to see what we have to do to add the table schematics. So to add the table schematics like uh, dashboard and navigation schematics we just have to copy this command and paste this into our terminal and give it a name my table uh, and press enter what this will do is this will generate a table schematics template and add this to our existing directory structure so to use the table schematics I'll, I'll be commenting the dash schematics and we'll be adding my table tag to use the table schematics so after saving here in our browser we can see that we have a table structure with the preloaded data and this is the table uh, this is basically the data table uh, which consists of sorting by just clicking here we can sort by id and also sort by name so currently there are 20 20 items and the limit for viewing the smallest size is 25 so we don't have any pagination so to check the pagination or to test the pagination what we can do is we can go to my table and my table component dot html and just add a 10 to this uh, and save it what this will do is this will give us another value of minimum minimum items per page as 10 so when we click the minimum value of item per page as 10 we see that we, will, we are only shown we only see the 10 items and we can check out the page nation that has been provided by the angular materials table schematics by default so guys this is the table schematics from angular material uh, so in next tutorial what we are going to do is we are going to combine all the three schematics into one and create a decent sample project so see you in the next video tutorial thank you